Ziggorf back again. Oh, frozen screen. Okay. <laughs> Ziggorf back again. Um, playing my Minecraft survival episode. Don't remember. <laughs> yes, episode. Don't remember. Uh, I'm in the mob spawner area, the dual mob spawner, uh, zombie spawner actually. Um, and this is the completed look of it, I guess. Birchwood floor. Even though I said I don't like birchwood, but I think birchwood's okay. For floors, at least. And maybe ceilings, but <laughs> not for outside kind of stuff. It's too clean for that, anyway. Um, so, when the lights are on, it's uh, all hooked up with redstone so I can turn it off whenever I want. And turn it on whenever I want, so when the lights are on and this mob spawner, um, it doesn't work, obviously. And when they're off, just with a thick of a lever, they start spawning almost instantly. You saw that. Both of them spawn a bunch of mobs. Zombies. So it's back on. Um, <laughs> some of the armor I've got from the mobs. Not the iron. The iron's my old iron armor. Uh, I, I just kept it there for the heck of it. Um, got tons more armor from the, from the zombies here. Um, uh, I'll show you a little bit of the outside. Um, so here's, here's the drop. They go in a mob elevator and then they fall off and lose quite a few hearts. I, I didn't really want it to be exactly half a heart, but they lose quite a few. And it's just one shot with a sword, so I use a lot of stone swords for that. There's a cow farm over there um, for books, for leather, for books, and sugarcane and wheat for breeding them, and carrots for some reason. I think I was going to make a rabbit farm because there are rabbits around here. And uh, I got a new horse. Uh, from, oops, from in from that direction, right there actually. They're they're still there. There are quite a few there. Um, I need to name it. I don't know what to name it, but anyway. So this goes down to where the baby zombies suffocate, basically, in, in case there's a jam up or something like that. Um, so you can see just by flicking it off and on again, I already have zombies. Uh, they take some time to get here because they have to go up the water elevator and then come back down. Uh, so, well, the ones with armor are not one shot with the sword. And this sword is enchanted with unbreaking. Um, I don't know why. Wow. He has some kind of good armor. Anyway, the rest are one shot with uh, swords. And I'm using stone swords to kill them just for the heck of it. They're all enchanted because I've been doing so much enchanting. Uh, I've made a lot of diamond tools, enchanted them, not the best for the axe, but it has on breaking three and I'm happy with that right now. Um, sword's okay. Uh, some iron stuff that I just enchanted recently. Uh, I went mining because I need lapis and I got quite a bit of it, a few, quite a few blocks, uh, some redstone, and I went mining just down here to light up caves and stuff because I have another plan for this area. Uh, I got two saddles from a zombie spawner, another zombie spawner if you can believe that. Uh, I'll show it to you. It's actually in an open spot. Uh, but anyway, so a name tag and some gold. Quite a bit of gold, actually. And uh, here's a lot of rotten flesh. I'm saving it. I'm not throwing it away because uh, when I get a cleric, I mean, that's like the best thing to trade with clerics. I mean, well, with villagers, I think, because it's useless otherwise. Um, so yeah. So um, I did a lot of enchanting. <laughs> a lot, and I got quite a few diamond tools. I'm not using any of these because, um, because uh, I don't want to use them yet. I just I want to add everything onto them. This this sword is going to be called the Sword of Slaughter, I think. <laughs> no, it's going to be the Butcher because I'm going to use it for harvesting cows and stuff like that, and taking it on exploring adventures. Oh, on on. Over caves, overground, <laughs> on top. Uh, not caving adventures because uh, it's only useful for animals and collecting food, so that would be really useful with the fire aspect on it and looting three. I'm trying to get looting three. Uh, I have another looting two sword here, but uh, so I. Um, it's a little complicated. The enchant and the repairing system with an anvil is uh, basically you can put something in an anvil and do something to it three times and then it gets too expensive. Um, so I'm trying to make it 
get all these tools in one in one session with an anvil so I can repair it twice before it breaks. Or if I don't use the anvil at all, that's even better. So this sword's stuck at this, actually. I only got sharpness 4 on it, and I added unbreaking 3 and knockback 2, which is not that great, but a knockback 2 is sort of annoying, but still, it's a pretty good sword. Um, so <laughs> if you can, I have a lot of fortune 3 picks, <laughs> two fortune 3 diamond picks, and then uh, there's a fortune 3 iron pick, and this just cracks me up. I have so many fortune 3 picks. And there are Fortune 3 books here, and yeah, some unbreaking bows, but I got I got the best bow that I, I, I at least I want this kind of bow. Uh, it can have uh, flame on it, but that's not necessary. Infinity 1 and Power 5 and Unbreaking 3. So <laughs> that's actually really good, I just need one arrow, even though I have three in my inventory right now. Um, I'll just put the volume back up on mobs. Awesome mobs. Yeah. Um, so this is the top of the mob spawner. Uh, it's just the redstone for the lamps. I think I'll cover it up or something. I have an idea for this area, so it's gonna come right on top of this, I think. Um, but a new horse that I got just from over there, actually. Um, <laughs> I'm saying this all over again, actually, because again, I messed up with the recording. Again, I I recorded my voice, but not the not the video at the same time. So anyway, it's growing nighttime. So this area has been basically my home for a long time. I haven't done anything at the other base or my spawn. Uh, I've just been sitting here doing a lot of enchanting, and now I think I have uh, what I want, you know, for everything, and I actually was going to get, I'll, I'll do that right now, you know, um, I was going to get obsidian, because our, my new mission is to get at least two, uh, at least two, oh, I have this, okay, let's go, there's a, I, I opened up to a mine shaft back here, so that's where I went caving and stuff. So I know where some lava is, and actually obsidian, but anyway. Um, so what was I saying? This is where chickens die. <laughs> and the chickens are actually from <laughs> chicken jockeys. Uh, they spawn quite a few. Uh, I mean, the deal spawners spawn quite a few, and I guess a normal spawner would be the same. So here's a ravine, not fully lit. Uh, but yeah, so let's... I'm using this iron pick because it has unbreaking 3 and efficiency 4, which is like the best that I would want. And even the shovel is efficiency 4 on breaking 3. Yeah, uh, but I need diamond pick. Efficiency 5 on breaking 3. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> anyway, so I need... Oh, I need 8 for 1. Um... Eight for one ender chest, right? Yeah. I hope I said ender chest earlier, not something else. Anyway. So that's what I'm going to make, ender chests. I have two eyes of ender um, from my uh, blaze, I mean, nether fortress finding. I got two blaze rods, one went to the brewing stand, and one... That's a weird glitch with water. And one went to... Um... um <laughs> One went to, what was I going to say, two uh, blaze powder, dust, or whatever it's called, and um, and then two ender eyes. So that's going to become two ender chests, one at this base and one at the other one, so that I can go mining at either one with my silk touch pick, which actually I have on me right now, silk touch one. That's what I've been wanting for a long time. That took longer to get to get than the others. Um, yeah. Oops. I have 16 now. 17. 18. 19. Oh! 20. Yeah. 20. I'm just gonna get some extra because, you know, might as well while I'm, while I'm doing this sometime. Instead of coming back and getting more obsidian. 
Ooh, glad the water was there. Whoa, okay. Oh yeah, this is a fast pick. It's, I mean, I don't, I don't think, let's, let's test this. Yeah, it's reasonably fast. I mean, uh, a beacon would help a lot. But yeah, I went sort of branch mining here. I uh, found a few diamonds, actually, at the end of that. Uh, just when I needed diamonds, and that's exactly what I was branch mining for. So I found them and made some more tools. I mean, I have so many tools, I I, I really don't know what to do with them. Anyway, I just need these ender chests, and then I can actually be comfortable. I'm going to take the silk, silk touch pick every time I go mining, and uh, also take an ender chest, hopefully. Then I want all my diamonds in the ender chest, and a bunch of iron, a bunch of coal, a bunch of redstone, a bunch of lapis, a bunch of anything. And all my tools that I'm not using and some kind of armor. I want a lot in that ender chest. Uh, but the ender chest is in the other base, and... Uh, I'll get back to you when I... Oh, wait, actually, I wanted to show you the loot completely from this uh, zombie spawner. Uh, I get quite a bit of iron, actually. Not not too much. I mean, I've been doing this for a long time, but 11 iron ingots is quite a bit. Uh, I've used some of it, actually, for these picks and stuff. I have quite a few carrots, quite a, quite a few potatoes, and... I use all these enchanted swords. They, I use them to cycle through the enchantments on this. If I get something I don't want on a book, I just enchant a stupid stone sword. And um, oh, nighttime! And that allows and that resets the enchant for your book, basically, or whatever else you wanted to enchant. Let's put a light in here. Um, so yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'll just show you this little project, and uh, I think I'll end the episode soon in another. Four minutes, five minutes. Uh, but I, I don't really know what to do in this episode. I just wanted it's sort of like an update episode, but uh, yeah, and planning. I just wanted to say what I tell you what I'm planning. Whoever watches this, um, so this is supposed to be like a slime spawning test, which doesn't seem to work. I, I I'm very confused about this swamp land, uh, swamp biome, swamp land thing spawning slimes because. After a certain update, I have never seen a single slime in a swamp biome. I've only seen them in the spawn chunks, and I, I, I'm just very confused about it. So I'm just gonna look for. Um, I thought this uh, swamp land biome would be awesome for ooh, zombie armor. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. But I thought it'd be awesome for. Oh, hit him! <laughs> I thought it'd be awesome for. Um, I'm just stopping halfway through everything. Anyway, I thought it would be awesome for getting slime slime balls uh, for, you know, slime blocks and all kinds of stuff, sticky pistons and whatnot, and leads, which I need. Uh, but yeah, so... I can waste arrows because I don't use any! Oops, I missed it. Infinity bow! I love this, this bow's awesome. Power 5. Now I'm ready to take on the dragon, if I ever get to the stronghold. <laughs> so, yeah, that's another plan. I plan to go to the stronghold sometime soon, uh, mainly for the books, the, the library. Uh, the dragon battle, I'll leave that until I get some diamond armor at least. Uh, not very, I mean, hard mode, I've never done it in hard mode. I haven't done it really in any kind of way other than really slow, take a whole bunch of snowballs in, and not nothing else, you know, just suicide mission to take out the uh, the healer things. Yeah, so, and then finally come in and kill the dragon, which was easy. Anyway, so, uh, what was I saying? I was saying, talking about plants, so I'm going to find a slime, by, uh, slime chunk somewhere around here. I don't want to use any calculations or anything like that, you know, using the seed or whatnot. But I do, and I don't want to use any, you know, like, slime chunk finder app or whatever it is. I actually want to find it a legit way. Uh, I'm going to cave there sometime. Uh, but uh, to do that, so I'm going to, like, go below level 40 and, let's see, below level 40 and just dig a whole bunch of too high 
space, you know, light it and everything. Uh, lighting it will, the torches will reduce the amount of spawn spaces, but because they take up one block and all that kind of stuff, but that's fine. I mean, I'll get a slime eventually if it's, if I go through a slime chunk. So I'm going to do that with the, in a 10 by, no, 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 not a 10 by 10. Let's say a 3 by 3, 4 by 4 uh, chunk area. Um, because it's supposed to be a random every 10 chunks, there's a slime chunk. Random, so it doesn't necessarily have to be in a 4x4 four four chunk area, but I'm hoping it will be. Um, I may make it a 5x5 five five chunk area, but that's going to be one of the projects. And then a bigger project will be... Uh, what was I going to do for the bigger project? I was going to make uh, a mob spawner. I mean, not this kind of mob spawner. I mean, all kinds of mob spawner. You know, just a dark room up high, and then they all fall and die. It's not going to be for XP. They're just going to die and fall in... Uh, wow, almost died there. Uh, two hearts. <laughs> I need feather falling. Uh, but they're going to die and then all the mob drops I'll collect. I, I'm, I'm only doing that because I want a lot of gunpowder. Yeah. So it's going to be a dispenser kind of water bucket kind of deal. So they'll go on and off in different times or something like that. And I need to light this whole area up 128 blocks or more away. Hello? Okay, I made it to the base, uh, the initial base, the spawn base, and there's a cow here. Um, actually, I, I did look around. Oh, there's another cow! Okay, I thought it was the uh, last of two. You can die. I need I need some wheat. I need a I need to do this. I need to breed them. Otherwise I'm gonna lose stuff. <laughs> I need this cow farm going, I mean. I need both of them. I I don't wanna just have to go all the way there just for cows leather and stuff. Anyway, so new horse looks okay. Um there is a problem with my uh chicken chicken farm right now. Uh as you can see, there are a lot of eggs here. Uh, what would cause that? Uh, I wonder. But there's also a lot of cooked chicken, which is awesome, and tons of feathers, uh, which I don't need right now because I got an infinity bow. Anyway, um, so the reason why there there are a lot of uh, eggs is because one of the chickens basically fell through the half slab. Maybe more of them. It looks like more of them now. Fell through the half slab and. Um, Basically, when they grew up, they they didn't burn or suffocate, so they they grew up and they're laying eggs just in there, you know. Uh, which, oh, wow, this is the cool thing about efficiency. First, let's turn it off. I mean, silk touch. Did I get it? Yes, I got it. There are a lot of big chickens down here. Wow. It wasn't just a few, it was a lot of them. Anyway, um, I just want to kill all of them. Ha! Ah, stupid chicken. It's interesting how the XP falls where the chicken goes, uh, but all the items fall elsewhere. Oh, so, yeah, problem solved. I just put that back and turn it back on. And I got a whole bunch of eggs here for some reason. Oh, <laughs> I'm just saying for some reason, for the heck of it. I don't know what to do with the eggs anyway. Um, but... Let's see. Uh... What was I gonna do? Let's just dump stuff here. I, I don't want to carry any of this stuff around. Yes, okay. So, here it is. I'm making... The two... Ender chests. Booyah! Okay, we got two ender chests now. Let's break this a little bit. Put that there, and... Let's see, do I have any half slabs? Half slabs! Any half slabs around? I don't know what I'm doing, sorry. <laughs> anyway, so here is the ender chest. As long as my... My items never disappear from my inventory. I will 
Oh no, where did my horse go? Oh, my horse is still there. Okay, good. My items will never... I mean, well, most of the, whatever I put in there will never disappear. Yeah. So I'm just gonna... Dump an efficiency blah, an efficiency blah, there. Because I have these shovel and these iron things that I want to use before using them. I'm gonna also dump the silk cut right now. And I'm gonna take this with me, or I'm... Or I'm going to... I... I really need another uh, inner chest or more than just another inner chest. Uh, but that'll be later, you know, I can always get blaze rods. Uh, the sheep farm is going well, I see. Anyway. <laughs> I'm not gonna... Let's run the redstone. It's like a wave of sheep. Oh no, we got some that are loose. Kill them. Single shot. Single shot for these sheep. Nice. Okay. Ow. Anyway. So. Yeah, I think that's all I wanted to do. Um, I'm back here, you know. At the fort that's unfinished. With these funny walls and snow covered now. Ooh. Yeah, there's a little snow layer up there. Um, yeah. So. I guess that's the end of this episode.